Hey guys, Nathan here from Running Warehouse Australia. And while running is definitely in our name, we love all things to do with it. And that includes triathlons. We also happen to have some very talented staff members when it comes to triathlons. So we're gonna have a chat with our local uh, tri geeks, shall we call them, uh, and give you an idea of the best gear for your next triathlon. So first off, we're gonna have a chat with one of our retail staff, Nick, who was the Western Australian 2020 Open Triathlete of the Year. Just a little round of applause quickly. Uh, Nick does a lot of uh, short course racing um, since he was in nappies, I believe, and uh, he's moving up into some longer distance events now. Say hi, Nick. G'day, guys. So first off, we're gonna start with Nick's shoe of choice for the run leg, obviously. Nick, what do you go to? So I've really loved the New Balance Fuel Cell RC Elite as my triathlon shoe of choice for, I guess, the last few months since it came out. As soon as I slip the shoe on, um, it's quick and easy, great lockdown. And then when I get out onto the run, the fuel cell and carbon fiber plate combination gives you that little bit of extra pop you need to run efficiently off the bike. So yeah, really love the fuel cell RC Elite so far. All right, nice. Next, we're gonna move into some nutrition. Nick, when you're on the bike or the run, what nutrition are you looking at to get you through the triathlons? Yeah, so I guess if we're sort of looking at it in order of what I take, I probably would go to the Scratch Labs hydration drink mix for what I'd use in my bottles on the bike. Being someone that sweats a fair bit, I find that this stuff sort of replaces everything I lose. And also it's a great alternative if you don't want to solely rely on gels. Um, it tastes great as well, which is always an added bonus. Moving on to the run and as well on the bike, I really love the Morton Gel 100. Coming from a, a short course background like Nathan mentioned, sometimes competing at a fairly high intensity, I've struggled to keep down a thicker or a really sickly sweet gel. I find that the consistency and the taste of the Morton really sits well in my stomach and as an added bonus, it's absorbed really quickly. If we're looking at almost a post-race um, supplement that I use, yeah, a treat as well with the chocolate. Um, you've got the Tailwind Rebuild and Recovery. Uh, it's just for its convenience, super, super helpful just to put a few scoops of these in your water bottle and just get that quick influx of protein and carbohydrate and also the, um, the electrolytes you need post-training and post-racing. So yeah, this is sort of my go-to triad um, of nutrition, so yeah. Uh, and so gear, is there any particular bits of, of gear? Um, I know some triathletes can be gear junkies, so uh, do you sit in that category? Yeah, well, I guess like a lot of geeks, I really do like my electronics. So the watch that I've been using is the Garmin Forerunner 745. I guess if we're looking at it from a triathlon specific point of view, the multi-sport functions are excellent. You've got the swim, you've got the bike, you've got the run. So perfect for training and also moving to racing, you've got that triathlon mode. So seamless transitions is always really helpful. Um, for those longer sessions as well, the more monotonous rides and runs, you've got the music features. And then the longer races, you're sort of looking at a 16 hour battery life. So more than sufficient enough to sort of get you through those longer races. So yeah, really, really have been enjoying the Forerunner 745. Depends how fast you go. I know That's I true. may not be done in That's that true. 16 I mean, hour. who knows, moving to long course, it's, I guess, uncharted territory. So maybe, maybe, and then yeah, moving on from the watch. Um, I guess my sock of choice Onto the moving onto the run would be the the Steigen mainly because of this sort of the stretchy and the breathable material, um, super easy to get on foot. Uh, it doesn't take too much energy to slip it on, and by the end of the day, when you're on the run, you don't really want any extra weight. Super breathable also means your feet don't get too hot. I think on those as well, they're not left right specific, so. Once you get to the run leg, you're not having to think, you can whack them on any foot. That's true. There we go, a fourth bonus. And I guess a third piece of gear would be the ASICS lock laces. Nothing too special, but I think ASICS have really hit the nail on the head with the amount of stretch and give that they've put in these. Um, enough stretch so you can slip the shoe on really quickly, but also not too stretchy. 
that your foot's slipping around. These really lock down the midfoot quite nicely, so you're not gonna have any heel slippage. So yeah, this is what I've been using in my shoes on the run. So yeah, that's the gear. Okay, so thanks for that, Nick. Nick is obviously at the elite end. Next, we're gonna have a quick chat with Sam, who's just starting out in triathlons. So as promised, we have Sam now, who is just new to tries and, and triathlons in general, um, just competing in her first half distance event uh, recently. Um, and I mean just new with the utmost respect because uh, with all things going well around the world, she has uh, qualified for the age group world champs. So good luck with that. Um, now to footwear, what do you like when you're getting off the bike and you've got to go running? Yep, so my favourite shoe at the moment is the Saucony Endorphin Pro, which is their carbon plated model. It's really lightweight, really responsive. It's got their speed roll technology, which really propels you forward on the run. And I also love how thin and lightweight the upper is. So I love this shoe at the moment. Couple of nice carbon options there. Um, nutrition for the bike, for the run, what's your go-to? Yep, so I have a really sensitive stomach, so I had to experiment with a lot of different gels and nutrition brands during training. Uh, my top two picks are Morton and Coda. These Coda gels, as Nick said before, the consistency um, is a lot better than some of the other ones, which are too thick. This one's easy to get down, easy to keep consuming over a long course event, so definitely recommend Coda. And then the Morton drink mix, this powder you just add into your water bottles. It's a really easy way to get in extra carbs on the bike or the run, and that goes down fine with my stomach as well. So if you have a sensitive stomach, definitely recommend Morton and Coda. Okay, so being new to, to triathlons, you, you might not uh, be as much of a, a gear junkie as, uh, as Nick was, but do you have any um, key pieces of equipment which you found really helpful for that, for that first event you did? Yeah, so I've used the Garmin 945 for quite a while now. Really like it, it's easy to use, does everything I need. Um, you can customise all the activity screens so you're only seeing the data that you actually care about. And then it has a specific triathlon mode which is really good for races so obviously takes you through the swim bike and the run but also times all your transitions as well and then a feature i really like is you can set up alerts and reminders for during those activities so during my race i had a reminder to drink every 15 minutes and then eat every 30 and having the reminders is just a really easy way to stay on top of your nutrition plan meant i didn't have to keep checking my watch to make sure i was staying on top of it so that's the watch and then hats. I really like the two times you ones. The material is so thin, it's really lightweight. This one's got mesh panels for added ventilation and it's just comfortable, fits really well, hardly really notice I'm wearing it. So recommend that one as well. Nice and lightweight for that hot day. Uh, next up, you're gonna hear from me about when I decided to do a couple of long course uh, distance triathlons stupidly. So we're into that next. Okay guys, so you're just down to me now and my shoe of choice uh, was the Saucony Kinvara. Now this is the 12 when I competed, it was all uh, pre-carbon shoes. Um, what I really liked about the Kinvara was it was soft underfoot, um, but when I got off the bike, um, it was lightweight, so it really didn't weigh me down on the run and I still found it nice and responsive underfoot. Moving on to my nutrition, um, I used um, hammer gels. Uh, apple and cinnamon was my personal uh, favorite flavor uh, on race day um, and perpetuum in my bottles. Um, perpetuum, I went with especially for the longer races just because it contained uh, that little bit of protein in it. So I was gonna be out there for anywhere from 10 to 15, 16 hours. Um, so I really wanted to, to have uh, that little bit of protein uh, once my muscles started to break down a little bit. And I found uh, the hammer gels for me worked really, really well with, with my stomach. Gear wise, I'm pretty basic. Um, before the race, I'd, I'd whack on some anti-chafe. 
Um, so a squirrel's nut butter around the neck, um, around my ankles so I could get the wetsuit off really quickly. Uh, my sock of choice on the run was, uh, was a Swiftwick. Again, it's, uh, it's not left or right specific, so when I'm not thinking eight hours into a race, I can slip them on uh, quite comfortably and easily. They're thin and light, which is what I really like, and breathable. Um, I would tend to wear a slightly higher sock um, during a race. I don't know why, that's just my thing. Um, in, in the shoes, I, I was a two times you. Um, elastic lace guy, uh, again a bit like Nick. Uh, they fit really well, um, elastic enough so you could slip your, your foot in easily and then when you're out on the run you just don't think about it again because you get that nice midfoot lock down. Uh, on, my, on my wrist uh, I did wear a Garmin uh, 935 uh, but currently I'm wearing one of the uh, Coros Apex Pros. Um, just for the battery life, I, I've always chosen watches for, for the battery life um, and Coros really excels at that. So that's my triathlon choices. So that's our little recap of what we all look for in triathlon gear. Um, as you can see, we all have our own favourites and they all differ slightly. Um, but the one key thing I think that was repeated time and time again was we all tried it in, in training before we got to race day, uh, which is the most important thing is being comfortable with what you're going to wear on foot, put in your body and then have to use when you're out there uh, logging the, the miles on race day. So thanks for joining us and if you want, you can let us know what your favourite pieces of triathlon gear are.